As geologists continue to piece together the findings of the explosions in Yellowstone National Park, Michael Poland, a geophysicist with the United States Geological Survey USGS, explains what causes eruptions and how they relate to the formation of geysers. The explosions are a buildup of steam and boiling water that needs to be released, and as Poland said, it doesn't create new geysers. No. It's an existing hot spring and there's a buildup of steam and boiling water beneath the surface that needs to come out, but it doesn't have a clear path, Poland said. The explosions are caused by a buildup of pressure from the steam and boiling water. We don't know what's going to happen yet. It's possible that this feature will behave like a geyser in the future, but it's too early to tell. A geyser is a hydrothermal hot water feature that has steam and boiling water beneath the surface and there's a plumbing system that allows the steam and water to escape beneath the surface, Poland said. As Poland explained, that could happen because the explosion creates a path to the surface and it depends on what the explosion does to the plumbing system. It could create new geysers. But we haven't seen a significant eruption from the feature since the blast. Poland said the blast was caused by a buildup of steam and boiling water. Yellowstone's water is high in silica. As the water boils and moves, that silica can come out of the water and coat the hot water pipes. If enough silica builds up, sections of the pipes can become plugged, which can cause pressure to build up. The geophysicist added that the blast didn't change the physical conditions of the national park and didn't impact the park as a whole. But this week's type of blast is less well understood and potentially more dangerous because it comes without warning. While dramatic, it can be very dangerous. We've gotten pretty good at recognizing the signs, the signs that a volcano is active and might erupt. We don't have the knowledge base for hydrothermal systems like the one at Yellowstone, said Michael Poland principal scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Poland and other scientists are trying to change that with a new monitoring system recently installed at another Yellowstone geyser basin. The system measures seismic activity, deformation of the Earth's surface and low-frequency acoustic energy that can signal an eruption. Hydrothermal vents are believed to be caused by blockages in the vast network of natural pipes beneath Yellowstone. These blockages can cause heated, pressurized water to instantly turn to steam and explode. Yellowstone encompasses a large, dormant volcanic caldera that shows no signs of erupting anytime soon but provides heat for the park's famous geysers, hot springs, mud pots and other hydrothermal features. Though much rarer than geyser eruptions, hydrothermal vents occur frequently enough in Yellowstone to be studied and a safety concern. Scientists don't know if they'll ever be able to figure out how to predict them. For a geologist, seeing them in person is a blessing. That's what happened in 2009, when Montana Tech geology professor Mike Stickney and several other geologists were nearby when an explosion went off near the site of Tuesday's blast in Biscuit Basin. It was so sudden and without any detectable warning, just standing on the sidewalk. It was just a whoosh, and it was over. No one expected it to happen although it was not recorded by sensitive seismometers at Old Faithful several miles 3.2 kilometers, away. He estimated the recent explosion to be 10 times larger.